Well, you know, questions sometimes come up that, uh, you know, why did you come out of the woods and what makes uh, Tim go legal? And I have been told sometimes that, that uh, you know, I sold out and I give someone my recipe and stuff like that because you do have to submit a recipe to the government, you know, and it's, it's patent. And then everyone knows what the recipe is. You know, all legal brands are like that. Uh, but the turning point in my life was my father. You know, uh, he got me to where I am today. And the day that he had an accident, he died in a car accident. Uh, that was the time that uh, I said, now I can go legal. Because uh, my dad was always, uh, uh, I want to say you're siding with the government if you do go on the other side of the fence. And, you know, why should you pay the government? taxes on what uh, that you're making at home on your own property you know it's like growing tomatoes in your garden and you make a tomato sandwich so why do I have to pay the government to eat that sandwich it's the same thing because it's an agriculture product you grow the product and you build the, the apparatus that you're going to distill in and then you know you distill alcohol and then you pay the government so it sounds a little bit uh, weird really because it's your homegrown product that you're making for yourself. Why do you pay the government? But because that was a law established that uh, federal tax will be paid on any manufacturing of alcohol. So that's that's the whole key point, you know. And everyone goes back that it's a heritage and stuff. Yes, it is a heritage, and it is a way of life because we have to plant and we have to grow our own food and we raise our animals and we make our own alcohol. It's just a way of life. But as generations come come up, we forget about the way of life. And everyone's easy to just go down to, to the local grocery store and buy food. They don't know where that food comes from. Same as if you go to the ABC store or local store and they buy the alcohol. They really don't know where it comes from. They don't really care about where it comes from. A lot of times it's like what it does to you, as in intoxication, or how much does it cost? Really, that's about it. Now sometimes I do get into asking questions, what is it made out of sometimes? But really, the roots of it, they don't really get into the roots, and no one really cares about the roots of it. But the federal government looks at it as a way of making revenue for the government. So when they establish the taxation on manufacturing of alcohol, that's what we've been working on ever since. So if you're in the alcohol business and you plan to go legal, then you're going to have to pay the taxes. And if you don't pay the taxes, then you're breaking the law, so you're considered illegal. As simple as that.